Hi, this is Ricky, and check this out. iNav 7.1 dropped earlier this week, and the stars aligned because I had some free time and the winds were very light. So I was able to take my Nano Goblin out for a spin. I guess I missed the memo on this one because I did not know I could use a virtual pitot tube and enable my airspeed. That was really, really cool. Another thing I did not know about was this feature right here. This one that says OSD Artificial Horizon Camera Alt Up Tilt Compensation On. I guess by default it was off, so what I would change the my camera up tilt, I wouldn't see any change in the artificial horizon. Now I was able to dial it in a little bit better. So when I go to the OSD, I'm able to see these things. So I was able to add my airspeed and I was able to add the horizontal wind speed. Now this is fantastic. And of course I have my ground speed. And then I did something really cool here that we will see later. So I was able to add all those. Now let's check out some flight footage. The auto launch with iNav just works. Flip the auto launch channel, arm it, raise the throttle, and just throw it. All right, once I get into cruise mode, you can see that the artificial horizon is pretty dialed in. The other thing that you can see is the wind speed. The wind is coming out of the south. You can see the arrow. And as I turn, it compensates for the airspeed and the ground speed. One of the things I did that I think is really cool is I changed the icon for the total distance. I took out the airplane and used the iNav wing logo. I think it came out great. Sneaky FPV did a fantastic job with all the icon sets that he creates. I like the fact that in Walk Snail, I'm able to change some of the icons that I like. A couple of the other ones that I changed was I changed the auto throttle and I also changed the fly minute and I think I made the airspeed instead of blue I made it all white. I changed the north up for the directions from red to white and I did the same thing with the arrow instead of it being green I made it all white. Look at how well the wind speed and direction is doing. It was pretty calm. My airspeed and ground speed match. But when I make this right turn, turn to south, you'll notice that the airspeed stays the same and my ground speed kind of decreases and the direction arrow is still showing that the wind is coming out of the south.
loiter mode works still pretty well. I think I need to adjust the radius of the circle. I think it's pretty small, so it aggressively turns to maintain the position. At this point, I took the goggles off to video the plane just circling. And from my vantage point, it looked like it was circling perfectly. But in the goggles, it looked like it was really yanking and banking. was kind of limited on my landing choices, so it was really difficult to slow it down without any headwind. It still came down fine.